King Hyacinth. I thought he and the Fell Dragon were on the same side. <laughs> now that was entertaining. What? <laughs> Did you see his face? The shock? The betrayal? <laughs> Stop laughing! What's wrong with you? Is that... Vale? You irritating girl. Ah! You had to go and ruin my fun. This is why I detest humans. No. It can't be. But... That's the bandage I used to dress her wound. I should introduce myself. I am Sombron's daughter, the Fell Princess. You may call me Vale. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Vale? What do you mean, the Fell Princess? How could you deceive us like this? Deceive you? We've never even spoken before. What? Enough idle chatter, Vale. Take the rings. As you wish, Father. To find one, watch out! There's a wolf! What? Where? Mr. Wolf, please go away. Leave the Divine Dragon alone, I beg you! <sighs> it isn't listening to me. No choice. I'll have to get serious. Pose? Is he about to... bow an apology like the incident at the border? Mr. Wolf, I'm so, so sorry! I'm sure that my apologies will enrage you further, to the point you might devour me! And if I wind up in your stomach, my allies may waste days looking for me! But I must persist. Please, though I have no right to make this request, I ask you to go home! I'm begging you! The wolf is actually turning away. Incredible. <sighs> there it goes. Thank goodness you're all right, Divine One. Thank you, Alchrist. I'm glad you're okay, too. That was a risky move. Think nothing of it. Your life is worth far more than mine, so I just did what needed to be done. Uh, no. My life, your life, everyone's lives. None of us are above anyone else. <sighs> you're right, Divine One. Looks like I've fallen short yet again. The Divine Dragon's Radiance should lighten my mood, but I've managed to darken it instead. I sincerely apologize. I, I should leave. But what Alchrist, wait! Wow, he's so fast. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Divine Dragon and their merry band. Fancy running into you here. It's you again. I know you. You're the wretch who stormed Fearnay Castle. Wretch? Not much of a greeting, that. But I guess the fault is mine for not properly introducing myself. You have my apologies for my man's actions in Fearnay. I take responsibility for what he's done. Take comfort in the fact I killed him myself. As for who I am, my name is Zephia. I am a mage dragon of great power, and Lord Sombron's humble servant in all things. As for my companions here, they are like family to me. Together we are known as the Four Hounds. <laughs> you tell yourself that. She's a dragon and the rest of us are humans. Family, she calls us. The name's Gris, and I'm not the prisoner-taking type. Call me Marnie. I heard we'd be meeting some royalty today, but you look like a bunch of losers to me. I am Mavier. The pleasure is all mine. Lady Vale has told us much about you. I don't care what you call yourselves. You're in our way. Now stand aside! Come on, we can fight our way past them. Everyone, engage with emblems! <laughs> huh? The rings! Something the matter? 
The Draconic Time Crystal. Of course you had it with you all along. Sorry, but I just had to take it back again. I grabbed it during your little chat with Zephia. Amazing you didn't notice. You must not be very bright. Hold on. You used it? Yes. Now all your rings are here, right where they belong. Give... give them back! Six, eh? I have to admit I'm impressed. Father, the emblem rings. <sighs> well done. Now the rings are in my possession. Good. Now to purge them of any trace of divine dragon power. To begin, the Ring of the Hero King. Marth! <sighs> Shine on, emblem of beginnings. <laughs> Marth? Marth, speak to me, please! It's no use. My father's spell power is now coursing through the emblem ring. He's no longer the sweet little Marth you knew. No, please! Provide for us, emblem of the Holy War. <laughs> Sigurd! Care for us, emblem of Echoes. Heal us, emblem of Dawn. Selica. Micaiah! Stop it! Just stop! Free us, emblem of genealogy! Rise up, emblem of binding! Leaf! Roy! I can't do this without you! <laughs> Say goodbye to your beloved emblems. Now they belong to us. Oh, how I wanted these two. Mark? And Sigurd. After killing Lumera, I was forced to leave them back there with you. Do you have any idea how irritating that was for me? Fail! We must retreat, Divine One! Oh. So now you want to turn tail and run? We have all your rings and you have nothing. Abandon hope. You will all die. Give them back! Give them back to me! Thanks for asking me to be your training partner today, Diamant. It means a lot. Of course. We are brothers, after all. A bit of roughhousing is expected of us. I can't offer an even match. My skills pale in comparison to yours. But I'll learn what I can. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. Constant self-deprecation counts as the latter. It's not self-deprecation, it's the truth. How am I supposed to win against the Prince of Brodia? You are a Prince of Brodia, Alchrist. Yes, I am a Brodian Prince, but I'm not THE Brodian Prince. I'm not you, Diamant. That's an awful way to think about it. Is that how you talk when I'm not around? You can't bring that lack of confidence to the battlefield. Enemies much stronger than you will be waiting out there. Don't offer them your weakness. Yes, Diamant. I understand. We need to get you in the right mindset for battle. Let's focus on your strengths. You're a skilled archer, right? People say that, sure, but I'm actually not very good. Stop. That's your lack of confidence talking. Did you hear what I said about weakness? Do you have any weaknesses, Diamant? <laughs> good question. What do you think? I can't spot a single one. You're flawless. Well, you certainly won't find any if we don't start training. Let's build Brodia a better future. Yes, Diamant. For Brodia's future, I'll do the best I can. You have nowhere to run. And no rings to protect you. At last. I can unleash the full force of my hatred. You and all your allies will be killed by your beloved friends, the Emblems. We have to fight! 
We have to rescue Mark and the others! No, Divine One. Vale has the time crystal and the rings. We're not going to win this one. I don't have to tell you how powerful the emblems are, but we can at least survive this thing. If we make it over there, we might be able to shake off Bale. Nothing short of victory. I had to stop you. There's a ring! Now's our chance! I think not. Uh, Veil! <laughs> I so enjoy your flailing. Corrupted soldiers. Kill their every last shred of hope. It's time! Remember this. My turn! Who's next? Was that too much? Just like a hero. Time to finish the job. Another kill for me. I 
really am worthless. I knew I would disappoint everyone. I should just get out of the way for now. I'm sorry. Was that too much? You put up a good fight. Peace must not end here. I hate to leave you, but I must withdraw. The corrupted alone aren't enough. Hounds, take care of these pests. I understand what must be done. <laughs> Which of those morons is gonna be my first victim? Orders are orders. I just hope the other side gets a few good slices on me. We won't let them escape, Lady Vale. You have my word. More enemies are coming. We cannot allow them to slow us down. Cutting us off! How can we endure this? The Divine Dragon's forces. Good. I was afraid we wouldn't catch them in time. It does not look so good to me. They are being chased, and they have no emblems. We had best get them these rings. I am back, Princess Ivy. Zokov? How did you fare? I was unable to recover the stolen rings from the Dragon Girl, but I did get this. Oh, pretty crystal. Perhaps these gifts will be enough to get them out of this bind. Let's hope so. Hello, Divine One. Princess Ivy! Why are you here? I wanted to try one last time to change my father's mind. It was too late. 
but I did retrieve these rings from Destinia Cathedral. You got two rings? Yes, here they are. The Ring of the Lady of the Plains and the Ring of the Princess Exalt. Are you sure about this? Turning against your own country? Right now, turning against Delusia is the only way to save it. For my kingdom, for my father. This is the only course of action. I know this isn't enough to atone for all I've done, but... Will you let me join your side? Of course I will. Thank you. The Ring of the Lady of the Plains belongs with you, since it was entrusted to Illusia. Sweep across, Emblem of Blazing! I'm Lindus. Just call me Lin. Ready to turn this battle around? Reignite us! Emblem of Awakening! Marth! No, that can't be right. It is I, Lucina. Lucina! I may not be the Hero King, and I cannot replace him, but I can aid you. I strive to be a light in the dark, a light for all who have fallen to despair. For now we may only escape, but as long as we survive, hope will abide. Now, engage with me. I have one more gift for you, Divine One. The Draconic Time Crystal. How did you get it? I borrowed it. While it is not one of the stolen rings, perhaps it will help. Thank you. I can still fight. Emblem, engage! I will I never, never give up! Give up. We could have been friends. Unfortunate. I'll go first. Inhumation. I will not dig this grave. Such ephemeral life. Innocent. Beneath contempt. I will not dig this grave. Remember this. Was that too much?
I vow to protect you, Lapis. Prince Alcrest? What are you talking about? You kept me safe during battle the other day. Of course I did. I'm your retainer. It's my duty to keep you safe. Yes, but I don't deserve it. I'm useless, but your character and skills have real value. That's why, from now on, I vow to protect you in battle, Lapis. What? But then, I suppose those words are hollow coming from someone as unreliable as me. That makes three. What? This is the third time you vowed to protect me like this, Prince Alcrest. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I do recall saying it just after we met, and then again at the Grand Crossing, if I'm recalling correctly. That's right. Hearing you say those words, it made me... <sighs> Please stop trying to switch our duties like this. I'm just a retainer. You're a prince. I... I'm sorry. I'm just being honest about how I see things. No, I know that. But I don't think many retainers would be okay with their master taking a hit for them. I... apologize. Oh, please don't take it hard. I know how you meant it. I appreciate the thought, okay? Yes, of course. Yeah. Hey, thanks! That settles it. You're dead. Another kill for me. Dream well. My apologies. Is what I trained for. No! Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. This way. We can travel to Solm through this forest. I hate to abandon Hortensia. But staying in the kingdom is not an option. There's too much we're leaving behind. It's painful, but we can't turn back. We'd lose everything. I will lead the way. I failed you, Marth. I failed you all. Ah! One of the Corrupted! The Corrupted? Where? Diamant, help! <laughs> Thanks for the save, Diamant. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. However, I must ask, how did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm... not really good with the Corrupted. Not good with them? 
You handle them in battle just fine. It's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last corrupted soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm. I don't follow. Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamant? I suppose... Hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay. Let's say... You knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now, imagine you're eating dinner at home, and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm... Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. That's what sneak attacks from the Corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation, Divine One. That was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed it. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How unflattering. <sighs> I wish I was flawless like you, Diamant. Flawless? So, Ivy was scheming against us. She stole two emblems from right under my nose. How irksome. Regardless, the advantage is mine. I have all of the rings they gathered. You shall all be destroyed. I will gut your allies, burn down your countries, and crush your spirits. We should be safe now. Vale is Sombron's daughter, and now she has our emblem rings. I'm sorry, everyone. I should never have brought us to the Cathedral. It's not your fault, Divine One. I should apologize. I asked you to let me fight. I was so angry about what they'd done. What about me? I'm the one who wanted to return Father to Brodia. That was illogical. Excuse me? If you hadn't gotten in the way... Calm down, everyone. We're on the same side. No, we're not. If not for her, we might have made it in time. We might have saved him. Oh, Christ. Princess Ivy told us about the ritual in the first place. Without her help, Father would still be one of those creatures. Diamant? She helped kill our father. Why are you making excuses for her? Princess Ivy's not to blame. Her father was. And the fell dragon murdered him. There wasn't even a body left behind. <gasps> Arguing won't get us anywhere. Apologies, Divine One. Princess Ivy, I hope you'll forgive my brother. He spoke out of turn. No, it's all right. I am sorry that I couldn't stop the ritual. I just... I can't bear the thought that I'll never see him again. And the ring he spent his whole life protecting. Gone. We have suffered loss after loss. But the emblems aren't dead. We can still get them back. And we will. I know we will. To find one. You still have emblems on your side. That's right. Don't forget about us. Lynn. Lucina. All is far from lost. We can offer our unique strengths as emblems. You can still challenge your fate. You don't lose by retreating. <sighs> I wish it didn't come to this. My mother told me that a divine dragon should never run away. We're not running away. As Lucina said, we're retreating. There's a difference. Hmm. Time and again, you've shown true bravery, even in the face of daunting odds. But refusing to move on, that's not bravery, it's folly. There's courage, and there's stubbornness. Lumera would have taught you the difference. Unfortunately, in your short time together, she didn't have the chance. Perhaps that's why Marth said what he did outside the cathedral. Probably so. Now at least, I understand. We're not running away. We're stepping back. Gathering our strength for the next battle. I'll become a better fighter. A better leader. I'll make sure no one, 
Not one more person loses their life under my command. And I'll bring back our friends, the emblems. What do you say, everyone? Are you with me? You know I am. Let's turn the tables on them. I won't rest until we reclaim what we've lost. Even now you have hope. I will stand with you too, Divine One. I will help too, if you'll have me. Thank you, everyone. Now, to the Queendom of Solm. Stay with me, and I promise to keep you safe. <sighs> oh, Ivy. Did you need something from me? No, Divine One. Must I require something to remain near you? No, it's not that. I see. Then please, feel free to ignore me. I would, but it's difficult to ignore the anger on your face. <sighs> the Kingdom of Illusia worships the Fell Dragon, doesn't it? If that's the case, I can certainly see why you would feel uncomfortable around me. You can't imagine how I feel. If you can explain it, I'd love to understand. It might reduce this distance between us. True, but we should get used to each other first. We'll talk when we're more comfortable. For now, I will leave you be and worship from afar. Worship? Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in Southern Firinae. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. We should investigate. There's an emblem inside this bracelet, all right. The presence inside is complicated, but I think I have the invocation. Lead us, emblem of rivals. Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. Uh, I guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. I get the feeling you've come to give me some sort of test. No need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. And your timing is excellent. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Speak for yourself. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every telling. Yes, the sarcastic interruptions kept increasing too. Coincidence, I'm sure. You three all seem to be really comfortable with each other. Appearances can be deceiving. Really, Edelgard? She's kidding. You can tell because her face looks exactly the same as when she's serious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the Officers Academy, but we led different houses. That's what you meant by competition. Yes. We only truly came together for special events, like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional mock battle between the houses, to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant that night. Dimitri looks pretty straight-laced, but don't let him fool you. Between you and me, he's like a force of destruction at a party. I'm surprised they didn't expel his whole house for those shenanigans. <laughs> Must have been quite a night. You only just met him, so you can't tell if he's joking. Just ignore half of everything he says. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. You do know a third is less than half, right? Let me say it formally. Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. 
We are here to help. And if these two and their conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. I'll do my best to help the three of you work together. <laughs>